relatively shorter compared to what I just said about flooding. <clears throat> Millions of Americans rely on life-saving prescription medicine. So I'm here to report to my colleagues uh, what Secretary Azar announced earlier today about making available information on the price of drugs on the uh, uh, television advertising that you see so often about drugs with all kinds of information, but not much information about what a drug costs. And the public ought to know that. Uh, Americans across the country expect and depend upon breakthrough drugs to live longer, healthier lives. However, these miracle medicines won't save lives if people can't afford to take them. As chairman of the Senate Finance Committee, I've been taking a close look at drug supply chain in the United States. I'm working to lower drug prices. And by the way, this is being handled in not only a bipartisan way in our committee, but also uh, I believe this will end up being very bicameral. Uh, the Finance Committee has held a series of hearings on this issue. So far, we've heard from economists, executives from the pharmaceutical industry, and pharmacy benefit managers. I've also introduced a handful of bipartisan bills to increase competition. And these bills are bipartisan, and now we're finding even bicameral. And in fact, the House of Representatives tends to be ahead of us here in the United States Senate on the, these issues. So bipartisan momentum is going to help us accomplish our goals. And perhaps more importantly, and I don't think he gets enough credit for this, we've also got President Trump leading the battle from the White House based on a speech that he did in June last year, based upon several steps that Secretary Azar has done to carry out the edict from President Trump to get uh, prices of prescription drugs down. And what was announced today is the most recent step in that direction. And I'm going to get to that in just a minute. There's one common denominator contributing to high prices that Americans pay for prescription drugs. It boils down to one word, secrecy. And what the Secretary Azar did today is attacking that secrecy. There is zero price transparency in the U.S. health care system. In our system of free enterprise, competition and transparency drives innovation. It drives higher quality and it lowers costs. Americans happen to hunt for a good bargain. You can bet your bottom dollar, Iowans know where to fill up their gasoline tanks. And they do it, in most instances, I'll bet at the most affordable place. When there's no transparency, there's no price comparison. That's a big reason there's sticker shock at the pharmacy counter. And American consumers and taxpayers are, of course, paying the price. The pharmaceutical industry spends a boatload on direct-to-consumer advertising. That's to the tune of $6 billion a year. That's probably why the average American today sees nine prescription drug ads every day. The Food and Drug Administration regulates these ads for the truthfulness and requires the disclosure of side effects. But the industry, however, is not required to disclose to consumers how much drugs cost. Now, that's about to change, and that happened this morning. I'm glad that Secretary Azar is making good on President Trump's commitment to lower drug prices for Americans that he announced in a speech last, uh, uh, last uh, June. Health and Human Services has finalized its rule 
to require price disclosure on TV ads for prescription drugs. Price transparency is a critical remedy to help cure the high cost of prescription drugs in America. These regulations will help towards that. It's not a final solution. Final solutions are going to come in bipartisan and bicameral legislature, legislation that we're going to consider later this year. And just to throw out a compliment to Senator Durbin of Illinois, because he and I worked on this very subject that Senator Azar announced a solution for by regulation. We tried to get this in a requirement in legislation that went to the President last year. We did get it through the United States Senate. It did not get through the House of Representatives. Uh, but Secretary Azar found through reading laws that we had passed maybe years ago that he had the authority to do what the House of Representatives a year ago didn't have guts enough to do, take on the pharmaceutical companies, because they opposed the Durbin-Grassley Amendment, and now it has gotten done as a result of regulation by Secretary Azar, which is a direct result of instructions given to Secretary Azar by President Trump back in June of last year that we got to do something to reduce drug prices. I yield the floor.